Round one was won by the Red and Greens, and now it's on to round two. And already it's one of the longest away trips of the season. 90 minutes up the M1 to Derbyshire. It's Coventry United taking on South Normanton Athletic here at the MJ Robinson's Structures Arena. Let's get you into the team news here on Coventry United TV. Apologies if I sound a little bit exhausted, uh, but honestly, it was a bit touch and go if we were going to be here or not. Uh, myself and a couple of the coaches and our uh, club secretary, Graham, uh, were all in uh, the car on the way to the M uh, down the M1 to the match, and uh, lo and behold, the motor broke down. So we've literally got here about five minutes before the kickoff, and uh, Muggins here has been racing up and down the pitch like Usain Bolt on speed. And uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> all right, wishful thinking. Wishful. All right. Um. <laughs> all right. Maybe not quite Usain Bolt, but you get the idea. Been racing up and down here like a blue ass flight, trying to get the team sheets, get everything sorted, and uh, what well, by hook or by crook. We've got here, so let's get into the uh, into the team news now here on CUTV. And uh, by the way, if there are any closures on the M1, then it's Graham, all right? <laughs> I like him calling me a Tully Tubby. He's the red one. <laughs> right, South Normanton team news. Number one, Curtis Hall. Number two, the captain, Dave Lee. Three, Nicky Wright. Four, Ryan Nadine. Number five, Mark Strzyzewski. Number six, Oliver Cox. Seven, Callum Greaves. Eight, Samuel Cox. Nine, Martin Smythe. Ten, Joel Herbst. Eleven, John King. And for Coventry United, number one, Brad Caswell. Number two, Daniel Cassidy. Three, Ben Valance. Four, Gift Musa. Five, Rob Prinzel. Six, Jamal Clark. Seven, Kyle Carey. Eight, Luke Downs. Number nine, Kervin Ellis. 10, Shaquille McDonald, and number 11, your captain, Dominic Lane. On the bench of Coventry United, number 12, Johan Sa um, Samas. Uh, number 14, Aaron Wintz. 15, Ryan Palmer. 16, Liam Kennedy. 17, the bearded assassin is back. Kevin Thornton is on the bench. Right, the heavy breathing has stopped and the action can begin. It's South Normanton all in blue with a little bit of white and Coventry United in the red shirt with green shorts and socks. It's going to be South Normanton kicking things off from right to left. Referee blows the whistle. We are good to go here on CUTV. It's South Normanton down the right-hand side with Lee. And it's been under a little bit of pressure. It's just passed around the back line for the Shiners. Back to the goalkeeper. It's Curtis Hall between the sixth day of Coventry United. Right. Also down the left hand side. Opportunity for Herbs to give chase. And he rolls out of play by the foot of Herbs. He was appealing for a corner, saying that he came off Prinzel. That's referee. Does not share that view. Brad Caswell between the six once again for Coventry United on loan from Leamington. Prinzel. Off the ball straight to the head of Strayevsky. Cassidy smacks it against the head of Lee. That will be a Coventry United throw. Taken by Cassidy. Prinzel. Picks it up and volleys it forward. Kirby Ellis wins the header down to her by Luke Downs. Musa. With Ben Vance, United utilising the uh, wing back formation today. Off field to Shaquille McDonald for his first goal of the season. And unfortunately, his uh, shooting boots are still lost in the post. Sends onto the catch fencing above the Shiner stand. This whole directing traffic for the Shiners. Lasted off that right boot. Leaping header by the Shiners number nine, Martin Smythe. Referee gives a free kick in favour of Coventry United. No Marcus Tudge in the team for uh, South Normanton. Just speaking to a couple of fans, they don't believe they're going to see the ex EFL journeyman again with their uh, manager. The, well, the old manager, I should say. The main reason that Tudge was at the club, he's gone now. Go on, sir. Go on, it's a Freddie through for Kirby Ellis. Oh. 
Straight at Hall, still alive though. Swing and a miss from Kyle Carey. And Samuel Cox tries to get it clear. Swims away now, Nadine down the right hand side. John King brought down from behind by United skipper Domelaine. Free kick to South Norms, which they take quickly. It's King on it again. Covered up by Elaine and Valence as he looked for the cross. Lee bounces towards the edge of the penalty area. Had it by Cox, volleyed away by Rob Prinzel. What field towards Shaquille McDonald running the air though by the defender. I believe that was Strayevsky who got there. Samuel Cox rolls it across to Dave Lee. Freds it up the right hand side. Elaine slides in but can't keep it away from the feet of John King. Bobbling cross cleared again by Prinzel. Nothing getting past the United centre back today. And it's dispossessed on the left hand side. All the way back with the keeper now. Shaquille McDonald putting Curtis Holder a little bit of a time constraint. The hall clears in time. Onto the shoulder of Valence. Love forward by Dom Elaine. Straight into touch down that left hand side. By Lee, onto the head of his opposite captain, Dom Elaine. Carey, holds off the challenge. Sent forward towards Shaquille McDonald. And Stravsky lets that roll back to Hall. Five minutes gone here at the MJ Robinson Structures Arena. South Norman's and Athletic nil, Coventry United nil. United victorious in their opening fixture of the MFL Premier Division on Saturday. One nil win over Shepshed Dynamo. A Scruffy goal from Kervin Ellis, who, by the way, provided the best post-match interview in CUTV history. Uh, that goal sealed the deal that day. And next time United are in action is on Sunday with the FA Cup fixture at home to Rugby Town. But that does mean that we won't be covering the final pre-season game for the Coventry United ladies. They'll be playing Sheffield FC on Sunday. So next time we're on air with the girls is on opening day against Gillingham. So you room from John King for Sav Norton, Fred Fruit into the penalty area. And the effort of goal by Martin Smith. First comes over that Caswell got something on that, but the referee has said goal kick. And if that is the case, that Caswell hasn't diverted that out of play, that's a shocking miss. Caswell looking for a second consecutive clean sheet. Caswell sends it away down the left hand side. Up jumps a big curve in Ellis. Bit of a shirt pull there. Referee says nothing doing. It allows Carey to. Head down the left-hand side. Again, a bit of a shirt pull in the back by Lee. Oh, a definite shirt pull there. Elaine's cross. Headed away. Back to Elaine. Tries to lob it over the head of King. That didn't work. The clearance from Dave Lee. That did. Bounces over the head of Smythe. And receives it back from Joel Herps. Critical opportunity now for Smythe. Will he do better with this effort? He's going all the way across the penalty area. Tried to do too much on his own. And drags it wide up the near post. But already South Northern seem a far cry from the side that lost 3-0 here in the uh, closing months of last season. They were United won by three goals to nil. The final goal in United Coast with Lewis Rankin that day. And Chris Cox. Also on the score sheet. Caswell clears the danger. Kirby Nairs beating in the air. So often you can say that. Oliver Cox leaping ahead of Kirby Nairs. It will be a throw in now to Coventry United. About 10 yards into Red and Green's territory on the left hand side. Balance sees. Kirby Ellis, muscled by Lee. Musa leaps into the air, brings it down. Dallas can't get to the rebound. Nicky Wright. 
Challenged all the way by Kyle Carey. Carey charges down the attempted clearance by Strayevsky. Here's Shaquille McDonald into the penalty area. Edison's a point. McDonald! It just shaves the crossbar. What a sensational run there by Shaquille McDonald. And there'll be a little scrape on that white paintwork. On the South Normanton crossbar where the ball whizzed over it and it was so close to being a spectacular first goal of the season for the Shack attack. Hall, oh, not the uh, best of goal, didn't get an awful lot of distance on it. The pass by Elaine got considerably more uh, legs on that one, but Unfortunately, too many legs for Shaquille McDonald's liking. He was just able to keep it in from going out for a goal kick, but he does have to concede the throw-in right in the corner, which will be taken by the South Normanton captain, Dave Lee. Bowing counter by Herps. Allen's looking for an option. It's cleared by Wright, sent forward again by Prinzel. I think either of these sides want the ball at the moment. Wright. Receives it from Callum Greaves. Challenge from behind by Gif Musa. It's a good challenge as well. Kirvin Ellis. Back heel by Kyle Carey. Trying to be a bit too cheeky there to retrieve, to return the ball. So it's just save to, uh, to Kirvin Ellis. Down the left. Only as far as Daniel Cassidy. Poor passing from South Normanton. Luke Downs. Carey trying to take on big Joel Herbs. But can take it around him. He writes. Mark Strayevsky. Ryan the Dean. Just passed around the back line and lobbed forward. Only as far as Valence. Here's Elaine. Falls down from behind by Ryan the Dean. Bit of argy bargy there. And referee gives the free kick to the Red and Greens. Clark. Rolls it across to the right with Rob Prinzel. Prinzel is about to try and cover off Prinzel's options, but he has found Gift Musa. Dinks it over to the left with Ben Bounce playing as a left sided centre back. Downs. McDonald. Musa a track back just a notch and that allows Samuel Cox onto it. And his pass down the centre of the park only as far as Caswell for Coventry United. Onto the head of Kirby Ellis. But back to Curtis Hall in goal for South Normanton. Retrieving it from Dave Lee. Pretty even contest so far. United starting to come into their stride. Kyle Carey has been caught short a couple of times in the last few minutes. And loses out again to Cox. Bit of a stumble there from the South Normanton. Mount United to get it up to Dominic Elaine. And he heads to the ground as he hits the ball and he rolls. Across the white line, it will be a goal kick to South Normanton. We've had around 12 minutes here on CU TV. Score remains South Normanton Athletic nil, Coventry United nil. Today's coverage, as with all coverages this season, is sponsored by Current Building, bespoke software to increase sales and improve your business processes. So head to current.it for more information. Clark sends it up the right-hand side. Bounces straight back into the Shiners box where Curtis Hall will take care of it. Driven away by Hall. Onto the head of Cassidy. Looking for Ellis, but not fielded by Wright. An attempted 1-2 between Wright and his teammate, but the pass was behind Wright. Well, that wasn't the right stuff, was it? Cassidy looks for an option with the throw. Down from Prince or in the vicinity. Ellis and Carey up there too. To the feet of Kirby Ellis. <laughs> Cassidy. Squeezed up field to Kirby Ellis. Blocked off by the big number five, Strayevsky. Ellis nearly retrieved the ball down the right hand side, but he will get the free kick. It's been called back after some hefty contact by Strayevsky. Come on, United! Come on, you St. Bolt! 
Well, Carl Kerry was the designated set piece taker on Saturday, but this one's being left to Daniel Cassidy, the new right back. Cassidy in towards oh. that far post. Oh. Martin's flag raised on the near side for offside. Ball races over to the uh, right hand side of the pitch to gather the ball and prepare to take the goal kick. Come on, Kevin! Ball places the ball in the right hand corner of his six yard box. And prepares to loft it upfield, hoping to find the blue shirt in the process. There it goes. Up to Jamal Clark, wins the header. Front again by Cox. Caswell clears on the edge of his penalty area. Upfield to Ayres, beaten in the air by Strayevsky. Bounces past Luke Downs, but it will fall to the feet of United man oh, Kip Musa. Yeah, yeah. And Musa's oh, got yeah. those legs running now. Surging run by Musa. Fred down the right hand side for Shaquille McDonald. Oh. It's hit the arm of Nicky Wright. Referee says no. In all fairness, the arms were by the side. Come on, United! But it will be a corner to the Red and Greens. Come on, Kirby. You're on it. There's a lot of size, a lot of strength in that area. On, it's towards Jamal Clark, oh. who sends it over. Flies over the head of Kirby Nez. Clark yeah, leaping it. into the air. Yeah, couldn't yeah. keep the header down. Where we go now. Oh, no, no, no. oh, tempers are raising <laughs> here, at the, uh, here at the ground between the Coventry United faithful. Oh, I'll tell you what, they're a temperamental bunch, these lot. <laughs> well, Clark getting away with that one there as he uh, forced over Martin Smythe from behind. Referee hasn't seen it. Musa leaping into the air, gets Bonson on that one. Oliver Cox in a bit of a predicament here in. The back left corner, that one's coming sw straight towards the CCTV camera. And it's gone out of play and it will be a United throw. Lofted away by one of the Cox. Cassidy trying to keep it in play, but he has got the throw for United. Deep into South Normanton territory, it's Daniel Cassidy with ball in hand. Kervinez wants it. Kervinez gets it. Tries to find McDonald with the header, but... Uh, no luck with that one. Samuel Cox sprints oh, straight into the path of Gif Musa. McDonald oh, calling from oh, the edge of the air, but again cuts oh, out by Ryan Nadine. Rolls it to the left with Nicky Wright. Slide from behind by Daniel Cassidy. Got the ball, but got the man as well. Callum Greaves winning the free kick. Right, thinking about a Quick short free kick, thinking better of it. Sorevsky plays it short to right. Nicky Wright. Through ball down the left. For Callum Greaves. Slide by Cassidy. Referee gives the throw in right in the corner to the Red and Greens of Coventry United. Launched upfield, straight onto the boot of Oliver Cox, bringing it down to earth. Samuel Cox, Nadine, Lee, a step over there, looking for the right opportunity of the cross. Cleared by Valance. And sent forward with force by Oliver Cox, but not with direction. Goal kick to United. Coming up to the 20th minute here in the MJ Robinson Structures Arena in Derbyshire. One of the longer trips Coventry United will be enduring this season. I think only Westfield is the only longer one than this one. The score remains at South Normanton Athletic nil, Coventry United nil. Next up, we'll be coming to you live on air and CUTV is the FA Cup extra preliminary qualification round on Sunday against rugby. McDonald. Passes it behind Cassidy, who's not too happy about that mistake. And it allows Cox to launch it over the defence. Only Ben Vance tracking back. 
Uh, his interception is not needed as Bradley Caswell has got it under control and rolls it out to Prinzel on the edge of the area. Powerful boots off field by Prinzel, leaping handled by Ellis. It's behind McDonald though, and they will fall to the feet of Nicky Wright, who lofts it away. Downs, chest control. Across to the left with Dominic Alain. Tries to flick it on for Kyle Carey, easily blocked by, I believe that was Dave Lee. He lofts it forward again. Ballard scores in possession by Martin Smythe. Lee. That's making life difficult there, like a little pit bull. Trying to put Lee under pressure, and Lee tries to switch to the play, and it just bounces awkwardly over the head of Cassidy, and opens up some space down that left flank for right. And Greaves' move was curtailed by a slide by Rob Prinzel. Nothing's gone through him tonight. Here's Samuel Cox, being hassled and harried from behind by Kirby Nance. Finds right though. Herps to right. Right, looking for the right opportunity to cross. Only finds Dominic Elaine on the edge of the penalty area. And Smythe had gone too far, and Elaine now trying to hold the ball from South Norman to an opposition. Musa across to Rob Prinzel. Brendan Green should have calmed things down now. Prinzel to Ellis. Onto the right with Cassidy. Ellis making that return run. Strayevsky gets there first and holds off the big number nine. But is forced to put it out of play right in the corner. Nowhere to go for the big number five. Kevin Ellis doing his job beautifully. It's going to be a throw by Cassidy. Carey. Hustle from behind by Nadine. Trickery there by Carey, just spin away. Receives it back from Downs. Ellis trying to out-muscle his opposition. It's come to Luke Downs, space on the right for Cassidy. Cassidy's got it back. And the cross charged down by the back of the South Normanton number 10. And I think Joel Hurts might need some deep heat on that tomorrow. Cassidy's throw. Ellis down line to Downs. This path being covered by Samuel Cox. Clark drills it forward to Elaine. And he swaps across and he's able to find Wright who clears his lines. So I've got to just shut up shop here. And they've done it well. There's an attempted long ball from the back from Coventry United. Goes out of play for a South Normanton goal kick. I don't know what Simon Ross has been eating, but I think he needs to lay off on the baked beans for a while. <laughs> Paul's clearance. Jamal Clark, great in the air. Who's got the last touch on that one? It's Clark who's diverted it out. Aerial duel with Martin Smythe. Wasn't much of a duel. Smythe stayed on the ground. Valance wins the goal kick for Coventry United as the number 10, Joel Herps, trying to flick it into the box, but slides off his boot. Come on, United! Go on, you red and green! Caswell places the ball for the goal kick. It's been a game of few opportunities so far. Right from Shaquille McDonald and misplaced effort by South Norman since Martin Smythe, the only action to call upon at the moment. That may change here with Kyle Carey on the left-hand side of the South Norman penalty area. A bit of pushing and pulling from both sides there between Carey and Lee. Carey gets the cross away straight to the feet of Strayevsky. Sends it back onto the left-hand side. Nice little cushion pass by Elaine. The attempted cross by Kyle Carey, blocked by sliding Ryan Nadine. Herps, lofted pass, looking for the run of Martin Smythe. He's got Smythe in now, chest control by Smythe, strikes from Smythe and bounces into the grateful grasp of Bradley Caslow for the Red and Greens. 
Cast well, I should say. <laughs> Here comes South Normanton again. We have John King. Strike charge down by Ben Vance. Handball cries. Referee says no. McDonald tracks back to get the ball back. Has to do it twice. And Kyle Carey just doesn't quite seem to be here at the moment. He's a little slow to react. Greaves back in possession for South Normanton. Lost into the box. Chester and John by Smythe. K turns. Shoots. He can't. I've got a throw that's uh, knocked out of play by John King. Midway into the South Normanton half on the left hand side with the red and greens. The stand in skipper Dominic Elaine to take it. Elaine, the new vice captain. The new permanent skipper Kevin Thornton well is back in the country and back on the bench today. Poor pass by Prinz or cut out by Nicky Wright. Diverting traffic and trying to divert Callum Greaves into a more passable location. Can't do so. Finds Strayevsky who drills it forward towards Greaves. Picked out by Clark. Cassidy, Brinzel, now Clark. Which is any time but Saturdays. Ellis. A rather soft effort from the right hand side of the penalty area rolls into the grateful grasp of. Curtis Hall between the six was sent into touch. Palin's off the back of Rob Prince, but you have to ask, how on earth did Greaves get all that space on the left hand side? He had the freedom of Derbyshire. He really should have done better with that cross. Coming from the left hand side. The free kick as Caswell flies into Samuel Cox. 